Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to show you what you can do with a basic title that you can get right in uh, Fusion here. It's their preset and save in a power bin and reuse it over and over and still be editable. So I have a regular text put on the uh, timeline. The media I got from Pixabay. Go ahead and put the text you're liking in. I have to use this on-screen keyboard because I'm paralyzed. Can I use my hands? Pick your font, whatever text you want, and tracking and all that now. Most people probably don't know you have a stroke control within this preset. Pretty much everybody uses the text plus, I would imagine. I do. But down here, you have a color. You can change the color of it, how thick you want it. And if you go to lower, there's a drop shadow built in. All you have to do is change the offset and it'll show up. Okay, now we'll go ahead and animate it. I'm on 30 frames per second. So I'm going to just come in 10 frames. Now come to position. I'm going to drop that below the screen. Set a keyframe. I'm going to jump ahead one second, which is 30 frames for me. If you hit shift and hold that down and arrow to the right, it'll jump one second, in case you don't already know. I double click on position, that brings it up, and sets a keyframe. Okay, we have our animated in, now we'll do animation out. I'm going to bring it to the end and then count in 10 frames again. Now I'm going to jump one second. And I'll set a keyframe on position. Now I'll go forward one second again, leaving the 10 frames left. And on the y-axis, I'll bring it down. Now we have a simple in and then out. Now, if you're not familiar with the uh, power bin, go up here, right click in the media pool, select new bin, give it a name. Double click the uh, bin. It opens it up. I'll just grab your composition and drag it up and drop it in. Now we'll bring it down. And there you have it. And in the inspector, you can change everything as usual. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.